Hi, I'm Deke. Welcome to Deke Pod, my series of once every other weekly videos on computer graphics and digital imaging. This is my chance to rattle your creative cage without anyone looking over my shoulder saying, you can't say that or we can't print that image. I hate it when people stifle my artistic vision, man. Jerks. Today's episode, 60 Space Siren, in which I show you how to take a perfectly reasonable looking woman and turn her into the object of unmitigated, largely unrequited, tingly space love. This technique works for dudes too. Monkeys, lab rats, space aliens. But just because it's equal opportunity doesn't mean it's easy. This is advanced Photoshop, people. Try to keep up. Captain Kirk, Rocket Man. So I'm thinking Star Trek, the old generation. You know, the one with Captain Kirk, the lascivious, promiscuous, lovesick Captain Kirk. He was always on the prowl, right? If you pulled that crap in a modern workplace, he'd be on Boston legal. But he wasn't a sex addict. He was a classic rocket man. You know what I mean? Far away from home, he was, to use our quaint 21st century term, lonely. Anyway, my favorite thing about Star Trek TOG was how we, the viewers, always knew when the captain was feeling amorous. Take this frame from the episode Mud's Women. How does she look? Or more accurately, how does Kirk see her? She's close up, lots of crazy makeup, some complimentary backlighting, and most telling, diffused focus. The very next cut, it's all gone. No more close up, no more backlighting, no more diffusion, but the yearning, that palpable sense of erst, you know, unresolved sexual tension. Because let's face it, here's the irony Kirk never gets farther than a big, dry, closed mouth smooch. The erst is still there. Sharpness threatens, softness beckons. So how does one transform into Kirk's vision of mouth drawing beauty? We'll start off with this woman here. Her name is Natasha. That's her name. And she looks great, but let's face it, she's too sharply focused. Kirk is attracted to soft, downy soft, fluffy, two-ply toilet paper soft. Plus, she's vertical. No, no, by that I mean her aspect ratio is totally wrong. Where Kirk gets his aspect, it's strictly four by three. Spock can live without love, but Kirk cannot. His personal life is a series of unfulfilled trysts, which is why he's so fortunate to have me, because I, in turn, have Photoshop. The Gradual Gaussian Transformation. The first step is to crop the image for a tight shot, and of course fit it into the 4x3 format of retro TV. Like this here. See, just getting close, the photo is already more intimate. You people who are thinking of photographing other people, do that people, get close. Now for the diffuse focus. They used to do that with Vaseline or a nylon stocking stretched over the lens, but Vaseline and nylon, I don't know, that's more Nurse Chapel than Kirk. So we'll use Gaussian Blur. Copy her to a new layer, give her 20 pixels, then set the layer to overlay. Smooths her out. This photo would absolutely delight Chekhov. But really, who gives a shit about Chekhov? Dude can't even say oh. vessel. Kirk is a red-blooded American. And as the rest of the world knows, there's no satisfying an American. But let's try. I'll start with her eyes. New layer, paint some white, set it to overlay, back off the opacity. Wow, those are piercing. She can see right into you. Now that wrinkle there, it should come out. Not the under eye crease, you want that. Creases are good. I'm talking the wrinkle. Select a general area, copy all the layers, paste, blur it a little, alt click here to mask it away, then paint inside the mask with white to hide the wrinkle. If you think you've gone too far, as you damn well should because you have, take down the opacity. Kirk doesn't want to work too hard. He's got a ship to fly. So let's make this efficient. Put her right there in the captain's personal quarters. First, I'll set up a lavender background. Believe it or not, that's Kirk's color. He's so manly, so utterly brimming with heroic confidence. Not even princess grade lavender can diminish his powers. Add some gradient lighting and a groovy space painting, and then mask the model into place. Now that last step, mask the model into place. That's actually fairly difficult. Don't be thinking you're gonna get this with the magic wand. Masking is its own specialized art form. If you're curious, go to deke.com. Now let's really start glamming it up. We're talking eyeshadow, lavender eyeshadow. It's so granimals. What the heck, some otherworldly lavender eyes to match. Lipstick, something frosty. And add a highlight. Yow, makes me want to go roller skating. The Starship Enterprise is just teeming with vivid primary colored backlighting. It's like they've really honed their ginormous lava lamp technology. So let's grab a shade of red and paint a new layer, back off the opacity, mask it. Let's not involve that earring. Hot, futuristic people of the 60s, they weren't big on the natural hair look. Stray strands were a turnoff. Think Ronald Reagan. So let's throw these layers into a group and mask away some of the random stuff. I'd call that a quaff. This may surprise you, but we still need more blur. 
And this blur, it's internal. It actually happens inside the captain's head, his throbbing, love-addled head. Let's throw everything we've done so far into a smart object, then apply Gaussian blur yet again, big radius, and take the opacity way down. Finally, let's time travel to the bygone days of classic television by adding a layer of film grain. Captain, it's time to boldly go where you in particular have gone so many times before. Another big, dry, closed mouth, G-rated star smooch. Conclusion. Check out the difference. This is Natasha. This is the Muds woman. This is the modern day blend between the two. So what's the takeaway? Over and over again, we were, what? Diffusing the focus. Got a portrait that needs help? Need to soften away some of the more ghastly details? A little bit of Gaussian blur applied a few different ways, you saw how, makes a huge difference. It removes the rigors of age without taking away any of the wisdom. If you want to see how the comp was put together, check out my personal site, deke.com. And if you're interested in masking, as in, and then mask the model into place. I have more than 30 hours of video, no joke, 30 hours on that very topic at lynda.com slash deke. And I have a new one-on-one -on -one book on channels and masks, which you can learn about at deke.oreilly.com. In the meantime, stay tuned for more videos. I have lots more quadro triticale grain to feed your eager triple here at DeekPod.